And what is up guys? Welcome back to Excel Your Sub for another video. Hopefully you all had an absolutely awesome weekend. And I owe you guys a small apology. So on Friday, I did originally plan to have the customs video from Randy um, posted on Friday, but I had a bit of like a mental lapse. And for some reason I posted the pack opening video, the last of the three pack opening videos instead. So I owe you guys an apology for that. There were a couple of you guys down in the comments section that were saying like, well, I thought there was gonna be a customs video today. And there was supposed to be one. I totally goofed on that for whatever reason. But anyways, today we do have the next set of customs from Randy that we're gonna be reviewing on the channel today. And let me tell you guys, you are not going to be disappointed. And uh, I personally think of this as the next wave of customs. For those of you guys that have sort of been around for a while, the original customs that people would make for Excelliators were just, you know, maybe a, a Teku Dior 2, a Teku Slingshot, maybe a Drone Crazy H. Those were like the three customs that you really saw a lot back in the day. And then Randy sort of came onto the scene and started making some even cooler stuff, you know, like uh, Infirmary Nomads and Movie Accurate Synchros, Movie Accurate Riveted. And I know Randy wasn't necessarily the first to do stuff like that, but the customs market sort of did evolve over time as, you know, Fish Daddy, Randy, and a couple of other guys in the community. There's several other like Acceleron customs on eBay. Several people started making even cooler and cooler customs, new ideas, you know. We started seeing a lot of uh, movie accurate bass lines, movie accurate high voltages, so on and so forth. Then it sort of evolved a little bit more, you know, we started seeing uh, movie accurate chicanes, reverbs, RDO 8s, flathead furies, anything that could sort of help people to not pay, you know, $300 for a loose mint chicane, but they could get a gorgeous custom chicane for $100, so on and so forth. And as a lot of you guys know, it really did evolve into, you know, old smoky customs, clip drone customs, super, super sick stuff, armored plow customs for riveted. But for today, guys, Randy has outdone himself yet again with a whole new spin on some of these custom cars. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into it. We have eight more customs to review today on the channel. And he actually sent us, I believe, another eight that we're going to be reviewing next Monday in another customs video. So he is absolutely taking care of us this time, guys. But uh, I'm going to leave the link to his eBay store down in the description of the video and in the pinned comment. So if any of you guys are looking to go grab any of these customs, be sure to go click on the links and go snag them quickly because I guarantee you they will not be listed for long. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. As we jump into these first couple customs here, let's start off with a pretty sweet one. We're gonna to try to work our way up to some of the coolest stuff that he sent us. So first things first, we have a movie accurate carbide with the chrome silver paint and the purple decals highlighted on the sides. It is amazing the difference that highlighting these decals makes on these cars, guys. It looks just like it's driving out of the neon pipeline realm. I actually don't know if it was in the Neon Pipeline realm or not, but I know that's probably the first time I really got a good look at all the silencers cars. Absolutely incredible. The chrome paint really makes this car pop. So as we move into this next custom, guys, as most of you guys know, we've sort of moved from, you know, movie accurate cars to Teku, Slingshots, Diora 2s, lots of cool little uh, cosmetic adjustments to customs, some brand new customs like Clip Drones, so on and so forth, Old Smokies. But now it is time to enter a new era of customs, guys. So as all you guys know, in the Accelerators trading card game, they had trading cards for each of the car models from the Accelerators line. And then on top of the car models, you know, like a regular Power Age car, they actually made sort of souped up versions of all the cars for these trading cards. So, you know, the Teku vehicles went from regular versions to the hyper versions, the Metal Maniacs went from the regular to the torqued versions, so on and so forth. The silencers went like regular carbide to vector carbide, so on and so forth. And one thing that always kind of puzzled me was how uh, the cars look pretty similar sort of from one to another, it's just a different angle on it. But, uh, and it was always kind of a bummer that they didn't have any special, you know, changes to the car as it obviously became a better car. So we have, you know, naturally the, the base version Power Rage card that corresponds with the Power Rage card. But uh, I always sort of was longing as a kid for something a little bit cooler, you know, like a souped up version of Power Rage. Well guys, look no further because Randy has officially brought out a Hyper Power Rage custom. Look at this car, guys. Look at that gleam and sparkle in the light. So this is the official Hyper Power Rage Custom with holographic paint on it. Absolutely unreal. And cameras and uh, let's just say videos and photos can only do it so much justice. You really got to see it in person. This car absolutely gleams in the light with the rainbow hollow effect. Absolutely gorgeous. And in my opinion, one of the coolest things about this Hyper Power Rage Custom is that it still has all the original decals and colors underneath the holographic paint. So for all intents and purposes, it really is just a souped up reimagined version of Power Rage. Because as all of you guys know, there are strip metal versions of a lot of the cars, you know, strip metal Power Rage, so on and so forth. And it was pretty cool having a uh, strip metal versions, but then you kind of lose some of the, the coolness of the decals and the colors on them. But with this Hyper Power Rage Custom, guys, you get all the original decal bliss 
along with the holographic paint and shine. Unreal. And coupled with the sick holographic paint, obviously there are some cosmetic adjustments to it, like the crystal blue windshield. What an unbelievable set of cars, guys. And you can definitely see the difference when it's next to a standard Power Rage. And it just gets better and better. So we have the regular Power Rage, the Hyper Power Rage, and we have a Holofoil Power Rage car. This is the Holofoil version of Power Rage with the holographic paint. And honestly, guys, I'm absolutely torn on which of these I like the best absolutely unreal this is almost like a stripped metal version of the car just with an even sicker holographic paint job it is absolutely unreal and you still have a lot of the car's original decal colors underneath it look at the glow and shine on this car guys the hyper power age is really cool and i absolutely love the uh the sort of rainbow hollow effect on it on the original decals and colors but when you start talking about a rainbow decal on sort of stripped metal style cars unreal and i know it's not a strip metal car this is a holofoil power age so here we have the family of power ages the og diecast power age the souped up hyper power rage custom and then the holofoil power rage and now it's time to go through another family of super sick custom styles first up we have the movie accurate high voltage take a look at this car guys with the blue paint absolutely incredible looks so much better than the one with the black paint that we saw in the original diecast line. This is 100% the way the Powerade should have been released originally. It's got the crystal blue windshield. Look at how the orange and blue pop on this car, guys. And even more cool is how the, uh, the paint actually sort of sparkles in the light. It is an absolutely sick looking blue. And then in the same vein, guys, I'm sure you know where we're going with this. Along with the high voltage, we have a hyper high voltage custom, guys with the dark blue paint as well, but this one has the sick hollow effect on top of the car. Look at this car, guys. It absolutely lights up a room. And honestly, when I look at these hyper customs, it honestly sort of reminds me of the effect that uh, happens on cars in the movies when they put an Excel charger in and their car starts glowing. It absolutely looks incredible. The whole car just shines on a different level all over the decals. Look at that unreal we have a hyper high voltage custom just look at that array of customs guys movie accurate high voltage and a hyper high voltage custom and i'm sure you guys know what's coming next we have the hollow foil high voltage and i think i made up my mind as cool as these hyper these hyper customs are these hollow foil customs are absolutely unreal look at the hollow effect on this car guys it is absolutely incredible I just cannot get over the shine and the gleam on these cars, guys. Look at the light on those decals. Absolutely unreal. Hollow foil high voltage. I cannot think of a single accelerator's car that would not look 10 times better with this style of decals and paint on it. So this is our second hollow foil custom, the hollow foil high voltage, and we have the hollow foil power rage. Look at these cars, man. And it just gets better and better. Next up, we have a Holofoil RD08 Custom, guys. Look at this custom. Absolutely unreal, super clean. This might be, hands down, my favorite custom that I've ever seen. As you guys remember, I was a huge fan of the original RD08 Custom that he made. He sent us a couple Customs videos ago with the, uh, the gloss black paint on the RD08 in the deep green. But look at this one, guys. It just, I don't know how he can possibly make Customs even better than this. It is just, it's got to be the most premium looking Hot Wheels car I've ever seen in my life. It's almost like the car is covered in 24 karat gold. Let's be honest here. Look at the hollow on this car. Absolutely unreal. And I love how he kept the decals the same on the car too. That was probably one of my biggest things I didn't like about the strip metal series cars is that they kind of dulled the colors on them. But these hollow foil cars, not only do they have the same colors, they actually accentuate them with the holographic paint. It really is an unreal sight to see. Look at this lineup of Acceleracers Customs, guys. Movie Accurate Carbide, Hyper Power Rage, Holofoil Power Rage, Movie Accurate High Voltage, Hyper High Voltage, Holofoil High Voltage, and a Holofoil RD08. And he actually sent us a whole other array of Customs, guys, that we're gonna be reviewing in a later video. We have one more for this video, so don't click away yet. This is easily my favorite one that, uh, that he sent us. So for the last custom of this video, I tried to save the best for last. I know I said the RD8 was my favorite, but uh, this one might just have to take the cake. We have a Hyper Chicane Custom. Look at this car, guys. As you can see, it has the hollow hyper effect on the car, but not only does it have the sort of hollow effect, 
it also honestly maintains the original blue chicane paint scheme it it just it blends together beautifully on this car in a way that um the hyper power age and the hyper high voltage were cool but this one is absolutely incredible i just i love how it just sort of accentuates the the actual chicane features so a hyper chicane custom guys absolutely unreal it looks just like the hyper chicane trading card honestly look at this car that hollow is absolutely incredible shoot i'd cover my real life car with that hollow if i could that is absolutely unreal it honestly kind of looks like karma put in the cosmic rome Accelercharger, charger honestly and it just gives the car this whole new vibe and glow to it that is the last custom that we are going to be reviewing for the day this hyper chicane custom as you can see guys, Randy has absolutely outdone himself again. The customs just keep getting cooler and cooler. And I seem to ask this every single time, what can he possibly do to keep improving these customs? Every time he sends us something new, I'm like, well, that's as good as it's gonna get. But these hyper customs and hollow foil customs, absolutely unreal. Just look at the color scheme on that high voltage. Absolutely incredible. So this is our array of customs that Randy sent us for this video. Like I said, there's a whole nother customs video coming right around the corner. Probably gonna be next Monday. It'll we'll just make it a customs Monday tradition. We have eight more absolutely incredible customs that he sent us. And uh, if you thought these were cool guys, just wait till you see the other ones. But this is going to wrap it up for this one. Movie accurate carbide, hyper chicane, hollow foil RD08, hollow foil high voltage, hyper power age, hollow foil power age movie accurate high voltage and a hyper high voltage be sure to go down to the comments let me know and let randy know for sure what you think about these hyper customs and the hollow foil custom and be sure to head over to ebay and snag any of these that you are looking for because something tells me they are going to go very very quickly and once again guys just be sure to go show randy a lot of love down in the comments for letting us review these on the channel just absolutely incredible incredible hot wheels and that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing these customs. Like I said, be sure to go show Randy some love down in the comments. Huge shout out to him for letting us review these on the channel. And like I said, next Monday, there's going to be a whole nother customs video coming. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, let me see. On Wednesday, we do have the giveaway winner video coming to see who won this Toy Fair Dior 2. Got it uh, on hand at all times. Sits on my desk. It's like the... Uh, the best little paperweight in the world. I'm just kidding. I'm sure I just triggered a bunch of uh, Accelerators fans. But uh, anyways, guys, the giveaway winner video coming on Wednesday. Not sure what we have planned for Friday yet, but then next Monday we will have the second set of customs from Randy. So if you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button on this video for me. Subscribe to the Accelerator Sub for more Accelerators content. Be sure to go visit Randy's store on eBay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.